Hi, today I'll show you how to get VHDL box app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is pretty simple and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the first step you gotta take is get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get Downloader totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device. And here in the search bar, we have to start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So let's click on it. And that is the app we gotta take and get to your device. However, after you got Downloader, it's not over yet because we still need to set it up. So in order to actually set up Downloader, we'll need to go to settings on your Fire Stick by clicking that button with the gear icon, then you scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And now from here, what you have to do is turn on the developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that is the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That is in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have pop out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps, and now from here, all we have to do is locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally let's go to the list of applications on your Fire Stick. Here it is, let's open it. And there is the downloader which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using Downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say it will connect to Austria right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we have to go straight into the list of apps on your Firestick device. Here it is. Let's open it up and then go straight into Downloader. And what you have to do in here now is just open that search bar and in the search we need to enter the code, which is going to be 863280. So once again, it's 863280. That's the code you have to enter. Then just click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And now the download of the app has started. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. And then after you see such a message, you have to click on install and wait for the app to finally get installed on your Fire Stick device. 
And now, after it is installed, do not click on Open yet. Instead, press on Done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So just click on Delete and then Delete once again. This way, you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now if you go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, you'll open it and here you'll find the HDL Box app, which we just installed. So now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. So click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and anonymous online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.